Kenny Schrader is okay, climbed out of his car unhurt, and I tell you that first because when you see the video, you'll wonder how. Gets around right there going down into turn one. Could be a nut. Oh, my goodness. Just Upside remember, down. You're over. in that corner at almost 200 miles per hour. That had to be quite a ride right there. Got to believe something's happened back here. My goodness, boy. Does that not tell you how fast you're going? See how that fire stayed out Again. of the car. This time, Dale Jarrett has climbed from his car okay after a fiery crash in turn one. We're under the second caution of the day. He'll ride with him here. Uh-oh. Tell you what, he hit that wall of fuel, yeah. and you see all this fire. Remember, he just had made the pit stop like you talked about, Daryl. That's 22 gallons of fuel burning right and there. And that, that clicking sound or that scraping sound that we heard, that either tells me that the tire pressures were low and hadn't come up. 200 laps, 500 miles here at Pocono. Let's get him started. Just like you said, Walt. Yep, now I'm still going to get through. You want to be down on the bottom, I think, going through one of the first lap. You don't. Have, you certainly don't want to make it three wide, but everybody looks like they're behaving, behaving themselves so far anyway, but you still got to get through two or three on the first lap. Ricky Rudd gets the jump. He's the early leader. Uh -oh, oh, trouble! Steve Park is off into the infield. Another car ball over on his lid. It's Park and Dale Jr. Terrible crash. Steve Park's car just turned dead left when he came off turn two. Junior's running to see his teammate, see if he's okay. Johnson, car, and there's Rusty Wallace. You see Park trying to squeeze up the outside. I see he was trying to go on the outside of Rusty. Rusty moves up, they make contact, and Junior gets un under the one car and just kind of bulldozed him into the wall and over. Yeah, that's what actually turned him even more sideways. But I'll tell you what, that guardrail did the job. Oh, it did. It did great it took job. a lot of, it, it, that absorbed a lot of impact right there. Watch the yellow car back there just turn left. And when you hit wet grass, it feels like you pick up 200 mile an hour. But you can see how that barrier gave way when Absolutely. that car Absolutely. That, that barrier absorbed a lot of energy. And I'll tell you what, that that nice to see happen because if that were a concrete... He gets out of the way now, Tom Penny. Oh, he he is. oh, and he's upside down. Into the guardrail, side over side, end over end. And Davey Allison has experienced a horrifying crash. Oh. Davey Allison. His car is upside down. Fuel is pouring out of it. The safety crew is right there. It stopped just in front of Daryl Waltrip and Davey Allison, and the car just flew through the air. Well, it got on the air, in the air very quickly. It goes over the top of the guardrail. Yep. Looked right over the top of the guardrail. That's the strategy. Here's the restart. Oh, Danny Hamlin. Not going to get this one back. Hard into the wall behind him. Matt Kenseth, Menard, Vickers, and more. Look at this pileup. Tony Stewart in the middle of that. Kozlowski, Truex, what a mess. Eric Almarola. We see Denny Hamlin get sideways. Let's see if that's, well, like a couple of things going on right there. The 55, yeah. Brian Vitt off in. Uh, Matt Kenseth. 
I'm not sure if they're related or not. Yeah, it looked like Vickers was trying to avoid maybe the 11 as he got really sideways. I don't know how Denny Hamlin saved that car once again. Let's see right here. You can see that kind of 15 kind of sucks Hamlin around right there. And as Vickers was trying to avoid that, he moved up into Kenseth, and then that started all of this. Yeah, that first look looked like he may have cut off Matt Kenseth, but you can see he was out of control when he came across in front of Matt he, right there. Yeah. Hard hit by Vickers. Wow. It was all started by the, the 11 car getting sideways. And that was probably caused by, and it's not a not that something that Clint Boyer was trying to do. He just got up, saw a, a run to make it on the outside. He had done that a couple of times on restarts. And as he went by the 11, it just basically. how this big three just to continues to duke it out every week. Last week, we saw Kyle Busch in the lead late. Kevin Harvick moved him with seven laps to go. He went on to win that race. Oh, oh hard into the wall is the 43. Bubba Wallace slams the wall. That car at full speed. Passenger side door into the wall. And oh, that is the greatest sad. view we could possibly see. The window net coming down. This was a massive hit. put his thumb up but you notice oh, no brakes not a fan of this Rick I've seen this before Jeff Gordon and I were here we had a brake failure he took that same left hand turn Dale you have to assume seeing the 43 down in the left in the grass he's trying to do anything to slow that car down and what a heavy heavy impact into that safer barrier that's a that is the um, the most frightening feeling that a driver can have when you have no control, either no brakes or no control of your car, and such a long distance to travel before contact with anything. Um, it's just really frightening. He's sitting here knowing that he's going to not be able to avoid hitting the wall and doing everything he can to figure out a way to knock as much speed out of the car as he can and take the longest route possible to that inevitable impact so I'm glad to see him drop that window net and get out let's see the crowd reaction it won't matter wow Jimmy Johnson slams the wall in Pocono oh my running seventh Johnson with a brake problem and Jamie McMurray has destroyed the right side of his car. Yeah, he Whose brakes that. fail? Was I it think Jimmy I Johnson jumped, I think or was it, it Jimmy Johnson? McMurray? I don't know, but I don't know. That's a hard hit. See if, yeah, oh, right yeah, there. You see the smoke, yeah. Actually, the right rear. It looked like fire in the right rear. It did look like a failure in the right rear. He turns left trying to Ooh. get away from that wall. Heavy impact. The right side. That'll take the wind out of you. Now, how, what, what happened here is what we've got to figure out. How did Jamie McMurray get involved? I don't know how much brake fluid would have come out of that 48 car, but it could be that Jamie Mack hit something from the 48 car. Or were there any parts or pieces that flew off right. the 48 car? That is hard. That's, That's a hard. wicked hit. Remember, we're talking 200 mile an hour down into that corner. When Johnson's car was going sideways, inside the right rear wheel was glowing bright red. You yeah, don't you often see that on the rear brake. No, I, there was some fire coming out. I think Johnson, I think it, uh, McMurray ran over something. Drivers. Driver's side. Thank goodness for those okay. safer barriers. Darrell, we've talked about how you go into turn one at 200 miles an hour. 
and dive down the racetrack. So it's a long way to go to get to that wall. Here's Gordon climbing out. There That's a is. good sight. That's a great, I tell you, I'm relieved. Man, oh man. Jeff Gordon was trying to put together consecutive top 10 finishes for the first time since March. Thank goodness for those things up there, guys, those safer barriers. That's, that makes all the difference in the world. You can see Jeff kneeling down, I think, looking inside the left front just to see what he could see as far as the brakes because we definitely heard him say the brakes went out into a corner where you're well over right at 200 miles per hour. Safe guess that without the Hans device and the safer barrier, he wouldn't be out there inspecting brake parts. Oh, I can't tell you how the guys that, that, have, that I've talked to that have had crashes like that rave about that safer barrier. I mean, those styrofoam blocks right there. Your they race have car, those. if you don't have all these things on your car. The car looked like it just never turned. Oh, oh boy. boy. That is a lick, guys. Look at that. Tore the sheet metal right off the thing. Now, boys, here's where the crew chiefs and I see their uh, money. A couple that's of brake a, pads. I think that's brake pads, yeah. yeah. Here comes Greg Biffle in the 16 car. He is only.